28. Here to talk about some fucking Guitar Hero, some Star Wars, some superheroes, some bullshit. Oh, so bullshit. let's get That's started, bullshit. man. Bullshit checker. Uh, <laughs> we're in a different spot because we're stupid. Yeah, yeah, and we were making this a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Yeah. Anyways, let's kick it off with some fucking new video games here. Sick drumming. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sick nasty. So, a couple weeks ago we talked about Rock Band 4 getting announced. <laughs> this week, Guitar Hero Live got revealed. Uh, it's coming out this fall on every console, including the Wii U. Also on mobile devices. They didn't say which ones, but I assume iPad, stuff like that. <clears throat> um... Basically, the game will be in, like, POV-style, full-motion video that they went out and they shot all these fucking videos of the band playing. Basically, it's going to be like you're a guitar player. It's through the eyes of you as the guitar player. Uh, they do have a new guitar, like, peripheral. Um, but old stuff will work, I think they said, right? Not for this game, no. no rock Band. Is rock Band, it will. Okay. Um, but I mean, for this game, yeah. no. Uh, and the new guitar, it, I mean, it's almost like the old one. But instead of just five keys in a row, you have three and three, so it's like you're making chords. Um, and, and then the gameplay is kind of the same with the notes coming down, um, all that stuff. And it also had <clears> this <throat> thing called Guitar Hero TV. Now, because of them doing this like full motion video stuff, they can't just do DLC packs. What they're going to do is Guitar Hero TV. It's going to be you. It's going to be uh, the music video for the song in the background, and then you're playing the song. Okay, that makes um, sense. Yeah. It's a smart way to answer it since they said it took forever <laughs> to do all this type of shit. Yeah. Um, so, how do you guys feel about Guitar Hero Live and Guitar Hero coming back in general? I think. I mean, if this game is going to come back, I feel like this is the necessary changes that they would need to make. I mean, because the POV stuff is really cool. And I heard a couple things. Um, again, somehow I feel like I bring them up all the time. Uh, Hutch, guy from YouTube, was uh, he actually got to play it, and he had recorded some footage of him playing the game. And a couple things he pointed out was, and that I saw from watching the video, is, you know, he, he sucks a Guitar Hero. And the, the band was looking at him all weird. And yeah. Like, like, the brand and the crowd will react. Like, and then, oh, also... The you, brand? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 band. the thing is the band. band. <laughs> and then also, uh, you can't fail songs anymore, Dingus apparently. Brand. Oh, really? Like, 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 it's like an actual live performance. You can't just quit. You get you you just get a worse rating if you... So you oh, got to go the whole thing. I know that. Which, because, I, I mean, it makes sense because it's live, you know. Yeah. And it'll help you kind of learn the song, I yeah. guess, too. So, that was a couple things. I mean, I think the new guitar setup makes sense. It makes it add so much and more to, complexity to it. And this is just guitar. Like, it's going back to how, how the, the first three were. There's no drums, Which no vocals. Because okay. okay. then it differentiates it from Rock Band. Yeah, exactly. After a while, those games were the fucking same. It's just that you played Guitar Hero because the Guitar Hero stuff looked better, and they, uh, in a lot of ways, I feel like they had a better soundtrack from yeah, most of the Guitar right. Heroes. Now it's like, oh, you want to play the band stuff? Go play rock band. Yeah. If you yeah. want to play guitar, and you want a truly good guitar experience? Go play guitar hero. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And two, I I would assume that the rock band guitar will not work in this game, and this guitar won't work in rock band because they're completely different now. Yeah. This is uh to me the best way they could have done it is to bring it back to what the name is to what made the franchise popular in the first place, and to do something completely different. Like the full motion video stuff, it might be cool, who knows. It's not like you'll be looking at it that much anyways. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, honestly, I didn't look at the, the background stuff. I was yeah. too focused on it. It's, it's, when you say, it's like when you know something. Like, so. like yeah. you said, they literally started to look the same. They had the same overblown, artistic, <laughs> cartoony-looking art style to it. And they just started to look the same. Now they are completely <laughs> different. Um, I think it's kind of neat, and, and I hope too that they they're going to do it like Rock Band, where Rock Band Four is going to be a platform. I hope this game. I is think. A platform. I, th I yeah. think they. I think somebody did say that Guitar Hero. Now is, is there yeah. is there any sort of like 
story mode like there was with the previous I mean, I'm games. assuming you're I'm torn with your band. You're torn yeah, with your band. Well, they did be... say that you'll start out by playing small clubs. There yeah. would only be a crowd of like 100 to playing arenas and massive festivals. And well, because I was so, assume. This, yeah. I mean, I just, this I just popped in like, if there is that story mode and you're playing, you know, certain songs from certain bands with the live stuff, what could have been cool to do is, you know, during the making of this game, give the guitarist from these bands like a GoPro. I think and, I think we'll and know that we'll, way you can kind of see the crowd and all that stuff. Yeah, I, what, that's what, the thing. They're not. It, it's not the actual mm -hmm. band. So two of the songs that I've heard that are in there, are like one of them is from the Black Keys. So it's not you're playing the Black Keys and the rest of the band members are Black Keys. You're playing a cover band called Broken Tide. Okay. Um, and then also and, it's, and so, it's the, <laughs> the, the camera is just like a, a camera that has set on yeah. stage. It actually, just looks around. And oh, then, but they did cool. actually go out and shoot all this shit. It's yeah, I'm, I'm sure they did. I was just saying that that might be an interesting thing, like you know, yeah. to make you feel like the guitarist put that yeah. GoPro on. And, and another thing is that when you said that, this just popped in my head. That something another way they could have done is if they wanted to kind of go up with live performances. If they didn't go with this, uh, I could see a Guitar Hero based on a live performance being a good game to push the connect peripheral. And it's like, you know, you can do the antics so that you would on stage. And it's like, yeah. you know, and that's... It could be something. Yeah, for yeah definitely. I mean, I'm just glad that they're doing something different. And I think it would be cool. Whether it works out or not, I might... Uh, I might get into it, but I was gonna say I might. I'm I'm I'm, yeah. I'm a lot more interested now, and I might actually maybe consider yeah maybe well, picking yeah. it up. Like I believe it. Rock Band will be a hundred bucks for the whole thing. This is a hundred bucks too. So that's I mean that's a lot of money. But these but, were always yeah. good like <laughs> party games. Yeah, they are. Sure. They were great party <clears throat> games. Yeah, for sure. The only the only thing is I, mean, <laughs> I think maybe Rock Band would be a little bit more yeah more towards that because game, now. Yeah. You're kind of restricted to yeah. two, yeah. because the other band's not there unless yeah. unless they somehow put in plug up your Although, headset and then you can something that could be interesting. Battle of the bands, like have uh -huh. like you like you and a friend, because I'm assuming you could probably only have about two guitars. Yeah, yeah, play awesome. against like two other people, yeah. and you know do something like that. Yeah, that could be interesting. That'd be cool. I mean, yeah. It's... You have any thoughts? Uh, someone else gets it. I might. Like... Play it with them. I'm not gonna spend a hundred bucks on. But yeah. it's a cool yeah. idea. I'm, I, just, probably, I probably wouldn't spend a hundred bucks. I'd probably get it maybe eventually. Or say like, hey, uh, to be like a thing. Like if I happen to get it, mm -hmm. sure. But it's like, yeah. I'd like to know. The I mean, I would not. I would not go out out of my. I'm, I okay. I'm not gonna say I won't because maybe for whatever reason, maybe I'll, I'll get a boner for this game eventually and be like, yeah. In ways to. Uh, if I had to get one game, even though we haven't really seen anything of Rock Band 4, I would probably lean a little bit more towards that because there's more. Yeah. There's and more DLC, there's, you know, although more like, opportunities with it, but who knows. And it really would depend on which one I get as to which one I think has the better track listing. Maybe it comes out of that, too. So, I mean, so yeah, so yeah the, the, the Rock Band is a great like group thing, but if I'm just going to buy this for myself, I'm going to go with the one that's got the better. Basically, like, I'd probably get Guitar Hero for me. They yeah. have announced some of the artists that are in here. Like, I know Fall Out Boy's in it, uh, the Rolling Stones, Black Keys. the Black Keys, and there was a couple other artists, none that really stood out to me as, like, that's fucking sick. I mean, I like the, Bla I like the Black Keys. I mean, the Rolling yeah. Stones are classic. I, I mean, yeah, it's, it, it, track, track listing has a lot to do with it. Well, but I, I had some good old stuff, but I don't like the pop but, boom stuff. But I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like maybe just because, again, something different, I like Ghost Guitar Hero. Yeah. I'm excited, to, or, I'm, I'm just happy that this game's coming to Wii U, first of all, that the Wii U's getting a good It's, it's a good games. game for the Wii U, to be honest with yeah. you. Like, so it's tough things, is what pe why people buy and Wii U. It's sort of third-party support, finally. Yeah, and also, um, I don't know why this is coming out for PS2 360, because they are going to be going pretty much dead after this holiday season. Probably. Hopefully. If they make so, it. Some people holiday. love to claim that the PS4 and the 360 are going to go off thrive for another three years. And I'm like, PS4 I don't know. Like, no. 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 If they're going to keep making it for like five years. So it's like, no, then like the entire console generation is done and they haven't stopped. I mean, the Xbox 360 is going to be ten years old this year. It's kind of a little bit of time hanging up. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, let's move on to another really fucking awesome video game. At least it looks pretty cool. Sounds really cool. Yeah. Who knows if it'll actually be really cool. Tastes Star really cool. <laughs> yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. So some shit got shown off. Not actual gameplay though. But there, uh, there's some cool, cool journalist people got that. <laughs> I know. Gameplay. Yeah. Um, 
the game's coming out November 17th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It will have no campaign. It will have no space combat. So it's a multiplayer only game. Um, let's see, there's like factions that you can choose. So the Rebel, the Empire. Uh, there's like, there's vehicle combat, but like in atmosphere type things. So it's very much takes battlefield space. style. Yeah, it's very, very much battlefield style. Um, they, they did show off like a two and a half minute trailer. Darth Vader shows up and it's like, chain. Yeah. Fucking like. Uh, yeah, and there's like four planets you can <laughs> battle on. Hoth. One is entirely new. Hoth, Tatooine, uh, what? Endor, and then there's a brand new one, which is like the place where they make like the weapons for the, the Empire. And it's completely original. They kind of discussed it with uh, with Lucas, with LucasArts, and it was like, hey, we have this idea. And they're like, yeah, go for Lucas it. LucasArts doesn't exist. They discussed well, well, I meant whatever, Lucasfilms, wherever. Like, Disney. Lucasfilms and LucasArts don't exist anymore. Whatever. They talk to whoever's in charge. I can know Lucasfilms still exists. That's me. Lucasfilms still exists. Shut up. <laughs> so, so, what do you guys feel? You guys stoked on this? I like it. I mean, the, 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 I like... Probably the thing that gets me is the fact that they're allowing you to switch the option, switch between first yeah, and third yeah, person. Yeah. Because, to me, like, again... Battle the, the, it's It's if you game. really want to be that... Well, yeah, yeah but it, it's accepting that, hey, you know, they're... We want to make it first person, but it's like... We understand some people might want to play it. It was cool. Um, I'm not as hurt about the, the, the story as much because, I mean, there's yeah. still missions yeah. that you can do by yourself in which, I mean, that's probably, I think that that could be yeah. good enough and then, I mean, you can play them with friends. And, I mean, the, yeah, and also, really quick, it's 40 players. 40, 40 players max. So, which yeah. is good. I mean, the, the first Battlefront, the, that campaign was eh. It, I mean, you were basically just reenacting, you know, the the at least for the first battle from the the, the original trilogy movies. I mean, you, certain battles from them, you know, the Battle of Hoth, yeah. Yavin, Endor. well, not really Yavin, uh, Endor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, but with with Battlefront <clears throat> Two, that campaign I actually think had probably one of the better campaigns of the Battlefront series, yeah, which is the the rise of the five hundred first Legion. Um, which become, eventually becomes Vader's first and the first, you know, elite stormtroopers, which was actually kind of cool in my opinion. So, I think, I mean, I think multiplayer only. You know, I've talked about how, you know, I'm not really for him, but I feel this is probably a good case for it. I do. Yeah. This is an IP shooting. that has been around for a while that people know that people like. I don't think this is going to be a game. <clears throat> It, as long as they don't fuck it up at all, uh, that will probably keep its player base. But it is be nice. fine. I want to see how they handle Jedi's. Like I want to see yeah. actual in-game footage, of course. Yeah. That they'll probably show off at E3, but I want to know Jedi's. I would assume with Darth Vader showing up that you can play as a Jedi. Yeah. I just want to know how they're doing it. Um, well, it's that cool. I'll, 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 before I get to my, the point I was actually going to make, if they work it a lot like the generals. In two. From, yeah, from two, where yeah. basically whoever does the best, you get to unlock being a general, which then that could be how they unlock uh, Boba Fett, because Boba Fett Boba showed Fett up in the trailer. Yeah, well, they, or Darth they Bear, the, the whole heroes and, for, heroes and villains mode. And, doesn't mean, and then also, uh, I mean, supposedly, I guess, there's heroes. I mean, mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker is a prime example for that. And the other thing I was going to say is, I really like that everything is authentic as possible. <clears throat> they went to the... To the <laughs> I forget what the Skywalker afternoon. Ranch. The Skywalker Ranch went to like the museum and took like three D models of X Wings and how things actually look and you know, when, when a blaster hits a tree it looks like the, the actual effects from the original trees. Like that stuff is awesome. I think it's gonna yeah. be fucking sick to be like running around on a on the ground as like a foot soldier or whatever and, and just seeing this shit fly around and they turn around each other. and there's an AT AT behind well, it. Yeah, I mean, and you have to fun. blow that shit off. Oh, my god. Like Battlefront you had uh Atmospheric vehicle combat as well. Yeah, but so, I just feel. So I feel it's gonna be. Rad. It's gonna be because you weren't flying X wings technically. And yeah. stuff like, well, no, there were. Never mind. Yeah. Certain planets. I mean, space combat's yeah. there's not in there. So, so. I th I feel yeah. like eventually, like having forty sequel, having like forty people in Every a space battle, or even like if they have servers that can handle it, because uh, with a space battle, you you kind of can have more. You know, you'll have the snub fighters and the capital ships, and the, you know somebody in charge of you know this entire capital ship and aiming, you know, the having the, all this firepower. Yeah, it'll move slower, but you know you're gonna have all this firepower to concentrate and you know do all this stuff, and then have your snub fighters and all that. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. I think it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was cool. It would be cool to have some type of uh, single player stuff, but <clears throat> I guess that's the number of games we're moving out of that. As long as it doesn't have the problems that Battlefield 4 had at launch. But this is one of the, this is a different team than the people that made Battlefield 4. And also, okay. DICE is now two studios now. Okay. And so, also, um, like, EA started this studio to make this fucking so, okay. And also, um, kind of like when we, when we talked about in, in a video that may or may not have, actually probably wouldn't have, but that will eventually come out of when we talk about The Force Awakens, this isn't a thing you take lightly. No. Like, I mean, they built this, I mean, even though this game might be Battlefield for Battlefield-esque, they built this game from the ground up. Yeah. They didn't start with just reskinning Battlefield. I mean, this is its own entity. If it just happens to be similar to that, it's just because, hey, they've made Battlefield yeah. for like, what, 10 10, 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah, Battlefield has a good for, like a good formula and they know how to do the multiplayer big large scale online. And games. I've always thought so. that the Battlefield games did multiplayer better than Call of Duty. I mean when I played Battlefield 4, I was completely blown away by it. I was like, this is fucking incredible. Yeah. When you have sixty four people on that same map, all blowing the shit out of everything, it's incredible. Um, and I think this is gonna be cool too. Now because there's only Four confirmed planets so far. I mean, there may be more down the road with like DLC and expansions. I want to see maybe multiple battlegrounds for each planet. Yeah, yeah probably. I can imagine. Um, I think it's gonna be hard. I feel like I'm gonna get my ass kicked a lot. In this probably. Game. probably. I, I mean, I mean, oh yeah, because it's it's yeah, it's, it's, it's like so. Shitter. So <laughs> it's gonna look fun. It looks fun, and I, hopefully it would it would really be fun. And I think it will be fun. But I just have to, I guess, I, I have to accept too, that I'm going to get my ass kicked a lot. I, would, I wouldn't mind them doing somehow with, like, how Battlefield does it, how you can squad up with teammates. Um, first of all, put a fucking actual party system in the game. <laughs> Not have to do some stupid rigmarole, rigmarole ass shit from Battlefield 4 to join up with your buddies. But uh, I feel this is going to be a very team-focused game. And I love Absolutely. multiplayer games that are team-focused. Yes, yeah. it's awesome. There's not enough team focus multiplayer. I mean, Call of Duty's always, hey, I'm just gonna run off and do whatever the fuck I want. It's a lone wolf game. Yeah, sure. Whereas Battlefield has always been, no, you need people yeah. that know what the fuck they're doing yeah. and will actually cooperate with each other. I'm really excited. I, 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 I tried not to. I tried not to hype. Yeah. I tried not to hop on the hype train. But I was really hype. worried about this game, but I was too. I, I don't know. As long as it launches fine, I think this. I think people will be really excited for it. I'm excited. I think this game is do, is, is guaranteed to sell. <laughs> As long as, oh, there's, yeah, not, as, long as sure. there's not a gaggle of angry racist twelve year olds playing this game. Well, there will be. But they all play Call of Duty, so. Well, there, there will be. Yeah. Star Wars fans, this isn't right. This is. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah. it's gonna be pretty <laughs> fucking rad, man. That's Star Wars Battlefront. Let's move on to another video game, Destiny. Uh, House of Wolves expansion comes oh, yeah. out. Oh, or House of Wolves DLC. Sorry, they call it an expansion, uh, but it's more <laughs> DLC. Comes out May nineteenth. There is no raid. It includes two new game modes, the Prison of Elders, Trials of Osiris. There's a new strike, three story missions, three confirmed, maybe five new PvP maps, uh, new weapons, a whole bunch of shit, two, quests, two, two new quests. social areas. Uh, two new social areas? Yep. Two new well, social areas. One, 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 on the one on the tower, one on the reef, I'm yeah. assuming. There's a new social area? Oh, oh, like, I think they'll probably just open up one of these. And in those social areas, there's going to be new maps. Cool. So, that's cool. Um, and she's apparently, uh, Prison of Elders is like a horde mode type thing. That could be interesting. And Trials of Osiris, you know more about that. But, yeah. uh, yeah, so what do you guys feel about this? I think, I, I'm almost... Well, what is, what is the Trials of Osiris? Basically, the Trials of Osiris is take, uh, Skirmish and add, um, uh, How, the Iron level Banner level advantages. to it. <laughs> but it's like, it's a pay to get in, like... Oh, uh, so it's like So a, it's like you pay a mode of light... You, you then you're in, but if you lose three, if your team loses three matches, then you have to pay another mode of light to get back in. So it's like if you win, you get good gear and you get. To I'm keep glad they're doing it with mode of lights, not strange courts. Yeah, yeah, that would piss me off. And then it just I, I, seems like a budgy thing to do with this game to do it with strange coins, but I'm glad they're doing it. I finally got the last words on this. And then the other thing that's that, that I think I think it's only on the burning shrine, which I. I, I, I guess. Map. That's, what? It's an interesting map. It's an interesting Mercury. map. Mercury. That's Mercury. That's Mercury. That is Mercury. Mercury. It's, I, but I, I guess that was a skirmish map that just got mm. added into regular. Because I mean, I, we played it for the first time yeah. earlier this week. I was like, I've, I've never played seen like this. two new maps. So I played play. the Burning Shrine, I think, once. Yeah, in so. Yeah. And there's stuff like that. Um, 
I'm okay with there not being a raid, mostly because of the fact that I mean, we haven't beaten the other two yet. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm not. But really also, we don't worry about, about getting raid gear anymore. Well, I mean, there's probably still like probably for like prison of elders and that stuff. That's probably how you get the Better, exclusive look. gear. But I feel like that might be a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in in a way, like I feel like it might be more manageable. I mean, again, Des like you said, Destiny is kind of just horde mode, so it's just. You know, lasting and but getting good gear from that. Something that, well, if they made like Gears as horde mode with that little bit of tower defense sort of element to it, that could be interesting. I don't know if they put that in. I mean, what, what I see happening is maybe there being rounds where you fight a certain number of enemies, but then it it changes up, like, one round you fight the Fallen, and then the next round a bunch of Cabal come out, and it's like, oh, we have to... We have to change our game. I'm sure, they'll yeah. have their bullet sponge bosses. In I know. Oh, well, yeah, of course. That's of course. the one problem I think I've been having. The biggest problem of all I've had with Destiny is they, they don't make the enemies smarter. They make they just give them more health and make yeah, them bullet exactly. sponges. Exactly. Um, I think this is pretty cool. I mean, it seems like there's more effort put into this DLC than uh, the Dark Below for sure. Yeah. Um, and at least there's more. It's going to be more content that you can love with Destiny, um, so that's cool. Um, they couldn't have picked a worse date for this to come out, though. They <laughs> really could not. Because The Witcher 3 is going to be coming out this day, I'm sure a lot of people won't give a shit. Nope. Well, so. Sorry, I'll be getting The Witcher. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be playing The Witcher, I'm, I'm sorry. The Witcher. I'm like, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll download a day off, but I'm not going to be playing a day off. Well, it's already on disc, I already have it. Yeah, I already have it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I already have it. What was the other thing I was going to say? I like that there's new bounties. I'm tired of the same bounties all yeah, the time. Too. Yeah. And... Uh, a lot of the a lot of the House of Wolves armor and gun stuff has already kind of been like leaked out and seen, and a lot of it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. like some of them are really cool pieces of armor. So I also, I mean, I, I think they will because they've said that they're trying to fix that problem. I'm wondering how they're going to do the, uh, uh, you know, your exotics becoming better. I twenty second. They're going to reveal that. I think what they I do think, is I, yeah. I think I think honestly, what it honestly should just be is that when you when you download the patch or whatever for the game, it patches all your stuff. It just you you have to another tier of uh, weapon upgrades unlocks, and maybe yeah, you have to buy another exotic shard. But that's not that big of a deal. It's not yeah. like going through the process again. You buy another exotic shard, and boom, it, it's upgraded. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's cool. More destiny. I've kind of accepted that. Just like playing the game. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be an expensive it's, game. It's usually play. it's usually like once a week we hop on. We yeah. <laughs> so we'll do the weekly. We'll get our strange coins. Yeah, I finally got the item I've been saving strange coins up for forever. So, yeah. yeah. So let's finish up with video games here. The NPD for March of 2015 came out. I saw so, a little bit of this. But pretty I, fun stuff. Okay, I haven't um, seen it, so I'm gonna take guesses. Apparently, well, everything was down. Uh, the, it was down 29 percent. The whole industry from same time last year. Doesn't matter. No. Um, PlayStation 4 is the best-selling console again. Battlefield with Hardline was the best-selling game, I believe. We'll get to that. Um, Nintendo total sales increased by 80 percent. Ooh, nice. No shit. Um, oh, yeah. With the new one coming mm -hmm. out, uh, Super Smash Brothers for 3DS. This is only in the U.S. and this is only retail. It sold 2.4 million. Mario Kart 8's at 1.9. Yeah, 1.9. Smash for Wii U is at 1.6. Uh, and Xbox One is doing okay too. So, let's talk about the best games. Best selling games. No fucking peeking. I mean, I already kind of dropped that Battlefield Hardline was Yeah, the Battlefield Hardline's number one. Which so I'm surprised. Are we going from 10 to 1? We're going from 1 to 10. Well, fuck off. That's how we always do. We're 10 to 1. No, we do 1 to 10. We, we always do 10 to 1. So, that's how you're supposed to do it. No. Oh, fuck no, off. We always do I quit then. Well, what's two. number two? Bloodborne. Um, yes. Uh -huh. I was going to guess that. <laughs> what Bloodborne the cell best on? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number three. I'm going to say hard, no, Hardline. Um, Borderlands. Borderlands. No. Handsome Collection. It's on here. Uh, uh, Call of Duty. No. Damn. Big shit. Um, yes! Uh, Dying Light. No. no. Uh, that do know. Wait, we're well, for Minecraft. March. Yeah. Minecraft's on here. Asshole Eater. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to about that one. Uh, Ghost. No. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh PC. Well, no, PC just came out, so that was the last one. Yeah. 
But oh, because heists. So, yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. People bought it because now they're actually getting their heists. Party Party 10 is number four. Sorry. Nah, I blew that. Just like the band told What's that surprising to me that Mario Party 10 is that high? Probably, no, probably a lot of people bought it and it's like, wow, this sucks. And then, <laughs> What's number five? Let me say, I'm gonna go back to Borderlands. No, damn it. Number Call of Duty. five. Yes. Ha! <laughs> Call of Duty this month sold best on PlayStation 4. Oh, oh, oh no, nice. three six game one. Nope. Number six. Dying Light. No, Dying Light's not on here. Oh, it's not on here. No, not, it's not going to be Walking Dead. This game was only out for a day, too. So it's something that came out March 31st. There's commercials all over TV for it. Dude, I don't watch TV anymore. The, 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 um... That, no. Uh, don't fucking tell me. Uh... Don't fucking tell me. <laughs> uh, uh, some kind of sports game? Yes. Oh, uh, I know what it is. FIFA? Then. No. Nope. Basketball? No. no. Asshole? No. Um, uh, hockey. No. Rugby. No. MLB. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> MLB 15 the show. What's the yeah. seven? Yeah, I forgot about baseball. I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna say handsome collection. No. No. Minecraft. It's on here, but no. Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft. Wow. Um, I'm on fire for a couple of weeks. Number eight. <laughs> Borderlands. No. Uh, Shitlands. No. <laughs> eight. Passlands. Is it a sports game or something else? Sports game. Sports game. Uh, 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 uh. Rugby. No. Uh, Dick FIFA? No. Um, no. Fuck. <laughs> hockey? No. UFC? Um, no, I'm just doing the name Fuck it's... I don't. <laughs> Go Cody's on. No. NBA 2K15. Uh, oh, okay. wow. Number 9? I'm going to say that's... Oh, that's still, that's still selling. Yeah. 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 I'm going to say that's... 9 is Borderlands. Question. Number 10. Assassin's Creed. Battlefield. No, no. I know. I'm just Call of Duty. Duty. We already yeah. said that. Um, is it uh, something uh, from Dragon, Wii U or Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball. No. Dragon Ball. No. no. Okay, I guess. It's like uh, it, but... Table. Chairs. No. WWE. It's not the order because nobody's buying the order. Um, something that came out this year? Yes. Evolve. No. Dragon Age, Shadow of Mordor. I think my last shit. Um, uh, no, Final Fantasy Type-0. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot uh, to play that shit. Because no one gave a shit about Type-0. That's your oh, 10th best-selling games. Hardline was number one. Battlefield was number one. Everybody was fucking creaming their pants over that game. I'm surprised that Hardline was number one, because I really didn't give two shits about it. Well, apparently yeah. everybody else did. It's the Battlefield name. This country's yeah. coming, becoming a police state. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this game accurately describes it. Maybe I was just trying to make a withdrawal from my bank account and the police just started shooting me. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about some movie trailers. Batman vs. Superman got a movie trailer. Or a legitimate trailer, you could say. Cause, yeah, because yeah, they put out the teaser trailer and this one just kind of leaked out. Yeah. yeah. So, Te teaser trailer is fucking stupid. Like the teaser, teaser trailer. Like, like Superman getting so undressed. Dumb. It was like no, no, it's, 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 you're close. It's just the costumes. He's uh, already showed Superman's costume, then Batman's costume, and then said Batman. What a tease. Like, oh <laughs> so let's talk about this trailer. What do you guys think? Um, about this I mean, my, my interest is Pete. Well, actually, it's their suit. Costume is like... Yeah, well, so whatever. it would be their suit. Um, my interest is yeah. peaked because it's not going in a direction I... At least it looks like it's not going in a direction I thought it would. Where oh. it's... Again, the, how all modern movies take superheroes, which is the, you know, do we trust them? You know, it's a thing of, and so, uh, you know, it, it, well, they make Superman look like a villain. Yeah, it's yeah real. I mean, what the hell is going on? Like, is Superman a villain <coughs> and Batman's supposed to, like, fuck him up or something? I, from the looks What's of it, shit? like, from looks of certain things in the trailer, there are certain, certain scenes, like, with the, the soldiers kind of... Kneeling. kneeling before Superman. It makes it feel a lot like Injustice. And they had like False God. False God and yeah. shit like that. Like, do you bleed? Yeah. They're, they're questioning, you know, whether or not you will. they should tolerate beings like Superman. Whereas Batman, yeah, he's human. Yeah. He's never been anything but human. Also, fucking... If that's Batman's voice, they should. Batfleck. Like I hope it's not. Well, I think well, it has to just do a suit. I have because. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of that suit oh, that specifically, that suit with the weird voice. I think the, I think the helmet. It's the cowl itself is making his voice sound like that. Yeah. Looks a lot like the Arkham Knight. 
I, it reminds me a little bit. Dark of Night is not bad. Man. I yeah. I know, but I mean, like, just the way that that cow. I mean, we didn't see the whole suit, but the way that cow looks. Well, the eyes thing. Also it reminds yeah. me of uh, of dark of the Dark Knight at the end when he's using the the ultrasonic thing. <laughs> you know, when he yeah. has all the cell phones. Like it kind of reminds me of that. I'm just. Uh, it's weird going from a more modern take on Batman in like how you know he can move his neck in the yeah. Dark Knight to old school where he looks beefy and he has to fucking turn with his shoulders to look around. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to take. I'm not going to be able to take uh, Ben Affleck as Batman seriously, especially that one little scene there where he's just like. <laughs> His fucking with Ben Affleck's fucking face. And he's just staring at the suit. It's like... Yeah. It's no! Just like, oh I, 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 I cracked up laughing. I was like, you fucking serious? Like, yeah. well... The, the, the Batfleck is a mistake, I think. I mean, he, he I think he, he fits maybe Bruce Wayne, but again, it's it's, a, it's another thing of... It's the thing of Bruce Wayne. Christopher Nolan. Or not Christopher Nolan. Uh, uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale kind of fit Bruce Wayne a little bit. A darker, more asshole Bruce Wayne. But still more realistic. Wayne. But still, Bruce Wayne, nonetheless. I kind of well. I mean, I'm thinking of the animated series I grew up with, where Bruce was smooth and you know. Yeah, but I mean, uh, any any more so remember, he's got a lot of money. It, remember, it's billionaire Vicky. Yeah. Millionaires of last year. Yeah, but then any more rich people. I mean, the, the general consensus yeah. is rich people are assholes. So. But well, with, not, that's just a stereotype. You know, with you know, uh, well, I can't remember the guy that did the voice acting for Batman. Kevin Conroy. Yeah, Kevin Conroy. Like he had, I think he has the perfect balance between Bruce Wayne and Batman vocally. But he's older shit. So can't <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> so you know, they like, ain't gonna suit him up. There's, doing there's a very beyond. subtle difference between, I mean, for Kevin Conroy anyway, but it's a very subtle difference between Bruce Wayne and Batman. Whereas Christian Bale is just <laughs> overblown and honestly stupid. The more I watch it, where is he? I mean, where as much as I love The Dark Knight. And, you know, that whole, you and know, Chris, voice changing Christopher Nolan trilogy. I just don't like the, the voice that Christian Bale gave Batman. I'm not sure how, because we don't know if it was the suit making his voice sound like that or not. His, if his voice actually sounds like that. Yeah, it's going to be, I'm not going to be able to watch a fucking movie. No, I'm not. Like that. And it looks right. like it could be really good story-wise. It looks it's like it's going to be very dark. But that will ruin it for me. Yes. <laughs> so. I think the whole movie looks cool. I didn't really... You know, I wasn't one way or the other about the voice. I thought, you know, whatever. That's the only thing that got me. I was yeah. like, this looks kind of cool. <coughs> but, but the that voice, voice at the end, if that's actually him. That's the, the voice and Ben Affleck are throwing me off. I like Ben Affleck, but I thought it would be cool if they would still, if they would have got, like, John Hamm. Should have thrown Casey cool. Affleck yeah. in there. Hey, like, Should have thrown Casey Affleck in I there. I feel there's other people that they could have got, maybe. But who knows? Maybe it'll turn yeah. out from the Le- 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 uh, we're, we're judging this from like oh, ten this? seconds of footage. Michael Fassbender could have been a great person. Oh, Michael Fassbender, I think, would be a perfect Bruce Wayne slash Batman. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's. Uh, that's. Yeah, I thought. Like he's even almost got the look. Yeah. The the Batman suit over looked kind of weird. I like the more realistic look that they had in like the Chris Nolan and stuff. Like I don't know. It looked kind of like. Like again, that's what I was saying. Like I, I'm like I don't know. Not like he, not exactly he, like can't futuristic, turn but it just looks kind of weird and bulky. And but then also like it's like the cow, you know. Like, that's that's the one thing. If you watch any of the other Batman movies, like you know, even in Batman Begins, you know, because the cow it, is is Robin in this movie at all? Uh. Mm-hmm. Why there was rumors. There was why, rumors of either Robin or Nightwing. Possibly. Why why don't they have Robin in any of these like Batman movies because, that they've done in the because, past couple of years? Because for the longest time it was just Batman. Well, if Robin was a short thing, and then I mean, yeah. if they're bringing in Robin, they weren't even sure if they were going to keep. I mean, originally they weren't even sure if Robin was going to stay around for all that long. Mm. I mean, Robin, but then Robin's it a very big deal. People know Robin. Also, this isn't a. This is more of a. I feel like a Superman. Why should not The trailer throws me off. The trailer makes it seem more like a Batman movie than a Superman. Well, the trailer makes it seem like it's 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 about Superman's conflict and Batman's like action more. Yeah. Like Superman has this thing going on, you know, where he's dealing with stuff, but Batman is more like you know he action he's, he's is, just yeah. gonna be taking action about but stuff. It, like, it's not about his internal yeah. feelings and stuff and his his life. And, yeah. And just know. from the way like they were saying certain <clears> things, it, it does seem very much. Maybe not based off of, but kind of maybe slightly inspired by the Injustice Gods Among Us story, where Superman kind of becomes... He, yeah, I mean, it's, this really looks like the fall of Superman, 
which is why he comes into conflict with Batman. Pretty cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool shit. Cool beats. It's an yeah. interesting trailer. March 25th, I think this comes out. Of 2016. Yep, March 25th, because really be they, they moved it because it was originally supposed to compete with Cap 3, yeah. which is like May 6th. I, I, I want to know eventually they're going to have like Batman villains like at all. They might like at they the end for a setup for something else, but I just want to see if like, I want like Penguin or Suicide, the Riddler. Suicide Squad is all Batman villains. Because yeah. like, at, at least what they did with like Christopher Nolan, like there was Bane and there was Joker and there was Scarecrow. Like I want to see like Penguin and the Riddler and those, those guys that they, they did like movies before with them, like older Batman movies and... Not necessarily Mr. Freeze, but like the Penguin, he'd feel like he's a classic one that needs to be brought back. And, and Jonah Hill would be the perfect person <laughs> to, play, to play Penguin. I know. That actually would be <coughs> yeah. That actually would be really cool. <laughs> or he could play like a fat Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well not, not necessarily fat. I mean, he could lose stuck somewhere. Again, be, he could lose he's stuck in purgatory yeah. between fat that? and skinny. Jonah Hill. That's Jonah, oh, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill can lose weight again. I can't Riddler. see Jonah Hill as the Riddler, though, honestly. <laughs> Fat Riddler. Fat Riddler. <laughs> even even fat as a, Riddler. like, just personality-wise, I don't see He could be very Riddler. annoying and talk a lot. And, and but that's, all... that's not and who the Riddler is. I mean, the Riddler likes to hear himself speak, but it's because he thinks he's more intelligent than everybody well, else. Well, that's kind of general. <laughs> well, not really. I don't think he thinks he's intelligent as everyone else, but... Yeah. I wouldn't if I was intelligent. He's going to be high. Look at Brandon Thomas. Look at the Riddler. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the new uh, Ant-Man trailer. That's been out for a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. let's just talk about it quick. The what? Ant-Man! Uh, that new trailer. They showed off a little bit of stuff plot-wise. I mean, not a terrible amount. Like, the bare minimum. Like, they confirmed that Wasp is in it, who's a big Ant-Man villain. And then, uh, they showed off, you know, Ant-Man's been one of those movies for a long time that, uh, like, that needed to happen, because that's what started the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it's like, well, how the fuck do you make that cool? And they kind of proved it with that trailer. Some of the scenes in that are fucking awesome. I know, like, like especially the one with Thomas the choo-choo train. <laughs> that, that was just incredible. And then running, running, on, running on top of the gun, yeah. it's like, 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 it's cool. I'm just like, oh my god, it's just, just taking something that's just so dumb in concept of Ant-Man. And making it incredibly badass. Just, just the scene. Like, this where, might like, be one of the most badass movies ever fucking seen. The thing with him and Wasp fighting on like the toy track, the yeah. toy train track, and you, so they cool. kind of pull out, and you don't see either one, but you see the train like fall off the track. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. And the then boss. like I thought like, I mean it's gonna be a, it's gonna be another. Uh, I, I well I guess maybe this yeah this movie was in production beforehand, but another like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is a little more yeah, like comedy oriented because I mean it's Paul Rudd. Yeah. And Paul Rudd's fucking amazing in terms Paul, of And Paul Rudd, who's the other actor? Who's the, the government guy? I can't remember his name. Michael Douglas. Michael That's Douglas. Michael Douglas is the, he, he, he's playing uh, Henry, Henry Pym, who is the original Ant-Man. Hmm. And then, technically, so technically they're skipping the original Ant-Man and making <clears throat> Paul Rudd's character, I forget his name already, uh, <clears throat> the new Ant-Man. So supposedly there's going to be like a... Uh, supposedly there's like an old school moment where you get to see the original Avengers with Hank Pym uh, as Ant-Man, Howard Stark, Peggy Carter, and like, you know, the World okay. War II, Cold War era, like, you know, those people from like Captain America, and kind of like a mashup of those two, which could be really cool, so. I mean, that's one of the rumors floating around, so. Well, I mean, the 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 Paul Rudd's character's like, I, you know, I I spent m too many years breaking into places and stealing things. So what do you so want me to do? I want you to break into somewhere and steal something. He goes, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. I mean, movie, yeah, I mean, that, I wasn't cool. all that big on this before. I was going to go see it. Now I really want to see yeah, it. Yeah, now, now I'm curious because I've never been like, I've never even heard of Ant-Man really yeah. until now. I, mean, I thought this movie like, was going to be fucking stupid. One of those now, deep recesses things. So. Yeah. It's it's now cool. this actually looks kind of like it might be somewhat decent. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to see it. I mean, you guys, yeah, yeah, you guys think it's cool. So I, I still, I just think it looks stupid. Like, you know those like lines sometimes in movies where it's just so Dumb. Like it's just a really tough guy line or something you just expect. So I, I feel like translating that into the sense of like an action scene, like oh he's running up the gun, oh it's so 
You know, I just think it just looks stupid, and they're going to be overusing those, like, oh, that's so cool. Well, I mean, that's, 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 that's I mean, they kind of have to, because that's the entire premise. Yeah, exactly. Care. So I feel yeah. like that's, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I just still think it looks... I don't like the original concept. I mean, it's an, it's neat, but I, I don't know. But I like Paul Rudd. It's just... I don't know. I just don't the think The fact that they got someone like Michael Douglas in this movie is kind of... For, for at least, like, you know, a dark... Not really dark, but unknown sort of entity in the Marvel universe. You know, I mean, because they didn't really have too many big actors for uh, for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, really, except for um, and Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel and Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's a big deal. I mean, if you watch the yeah, uh, well, now Chris Recreation. Pratt's a big deal. He was a big deal on Parks and Recreation. Yeah, right? but I'm talking like big movie. You know, well known, well established cinema. Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper. Was Vin Diesel in? Yeah, he's Groot. <laughs> well, he's fucking group. Yeah, voice acting, but I'm like. And then uh, fucking uh, Michael Rooker. Yeah, that's who. That's what I've been, for, been around for. But other than that, that's the, really all the big people that were in that movie. They had uh, uh, who's uh, some other couple of big people. They had. Uh, I mean, they had Karen Gillan, Steve Brule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, oh, yeah. <laughs> they had Karen Gillan, but I mean, she's more TV. Yeah, I mean, and, I mean, they, they, I mean, Marvel's always gotten like semi decent actors. Like, there's yeah. they always kind of have like a smaller cast of. Maybe less, and then they usually have a couple veterans playing a couple roles. And yeah. Like, uh. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh. Well, like, everyone yeah. knew the Avengers was gonna blow up. Fucking, uh. Tommy Lee Jones and Captain America. Yeah. But everyone, like, everyone knew those movies were gonna do well. Because they were well established Marvel, you know, universes. Whereas so. Ant Man. Ant-Man's big, Ant Man's big for Marvel fans. Maybe not. Yeah, so he's yeah. not. He's, he hasn't breached out like yeah. like Iron Man or Hulk or Thor, who are big. Yeah. Even if they're not big and deep now. He just seems like a very cool. very rich, cool. very niche character. That's all. Yeah. I, I I I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So I feel like in a couple ways I'm kind of burnt out from superhero movies. It's just I have them all the time now, and I mean yeah, some of them are really cool. Like I'm 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 super interested in the Batman and Superman one, but I don't know. It yeah. just seems like all oh, this Iron Man, like it. every year, it's just, it, I, I it's, it's getting it, to yeah. the point where it really makes me, it makes me really want to see it, it, well, it has to make me really want to see it, instead of just like, oh, well, you know, let's go see it. it. It's, it's like, 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 I don't, like, I don't give a crap about Captain America, I, like, nothing against him personally, but I just don't give a crap about him, I don't like him as a character, and, you know, I don't, I don't care. He can, he can just go back to whatever year he came from. I don't care. I think eventually it'll just explode on itself, type of thing. People yeah. won't want him, and it'll get. Stuck, <laughs> I think thing. probably like phase after maybe because I assume there'll be a phase four after phase three, probably right around there. I hope yeah, probably after four. they conclude the Avengers, it'll be kind of be like a little burn. Well, then maybe. Well, maybe well, ho hopefully, hopefully at that point it's more of like because right now they're they're building the units. After that, it's just like let's put out a movie every couple of years. And that's not that'll be fine three. by me. Not put out like three in a year, and then also there's like fifteen studios putting out. Because then you avoid like yeah. the, the Call of Duty fatigue. Because I mean, I personally am fatigued with Call of Duty because they put one out every year. Yeah. yeah. But I guess that's just kind of like for me. That's what I'm saying. Like after every movie, you know, like the Avengers, like oh the Hulk, you know, is fighting Thor, and it's kind of funny, and there's like these cool, awesome action scenes. It's just like there's only so much I can take from those movies, you know. Mm -hmm. And like yeah, there are they are different superheroes, when, when you, but. When you really watch them, they are all, their plot lines are basically all the same. Yeah, no, and, and it's just sometimes yeah. like <laughs> like action scenes, like oh, it's so actiony. But no, it's like after the fifth, the, the eight, fifth, 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 twenty uh, fucking t whatever number of time. I don't know numbers right now. It's just like eh, yeah, it's not for me. I'd rather rather watch like um, porn. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'd rather, rather watch <laughs> Jake, action like that. Jake Gyllenhaal or something. He's you hot. You'd rather watch Brokeback. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, got that no, new movie. he's got that new movie. Coming. Yeah, he was in uh, Nightcrawler. No, that was, that was really he's in some new movie about being a boxer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't remember what it was called. But yeah, something. Some, some movie about him being a boxer. And, Southpaw. Uh, Southpaw, that's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Southpaw, I'm not Brocky. I'm yeah. <laughs> a Southpaw. So. Southpaw. Um, Southpaw. Ant-Man comes out July 17th. Leap 717. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> 717. Alright. Uh, move on to some quick stuff for games. Journey comes out on PS4 this summer. It's coming out on disc as well. Oh. Which is awesome. Um, Matt Armstrong, the dude who created Borderlands, 
has and directed the first one. He had parts in the pre-sequel, and Borderlands 2 is no longer at Gearbox. Also, 2K Australia is getting shut down. Um, so That's already been space. shut down. Yeah. They're basically in a... They said they're in the closing parts of shutting them down. So that kind of stinks for them. People losing their jobs. Yeah. Um, Phil Harrison, some big wig over at Microsoft, Microsoft over in Europe. Um, he's leaving. Everybody's leaving. I know. Well, how long has Phil Harrison going? been like the head of Microsoft? Three years. Well, wait, well Phil Spencer's been in charge of Microsoft. He's, he's in, in charge, charge of, of Xbox. Phil oh, Harrison Mark. is in charge of your stuff over yeah. at, with Microsoft. Um, so he's out three years, which he's just a big name dude in gaming. So okay. all these people are leaving. Where are they going? I don't know. Uh, that I don't know. It, where it, it checking. Going. I mean, they just not care about video games I mean, anymore. You know, or, entitlement checks. Yeah, he used to be at EA, I believe, too, before he came to Microsoft. Um, also, Street Fighter Four comes out on PS4 May 26. And then they're gonna put out like Street Fighter Five like a year after. Yeah, Last round or whatever they call uh, it. This this game's fucking sick. Madden 16 comes out August 25th. Stoked. Oh man. Uh, we'll out. fucking I'll uh, fucking beat your ass, in man. That's like did, didn't he win last time? Huh? I whooped his ass three out of four quarters <laughs> every time, and then he wins <laughs> all the time. It's fun. Uh, Project Cars comes out May 8th. In cars? Europe. Yeah, cars. Yeah. cars. Like the movie or? No, no. it's like a racing game. It's a racing oh. simulation. This game looks fucking incredible Project as a racing cars. fan. But oh. I, this May 8th is, is not coming out in the uh, U.S. What's the difference? Uh, Call of Duty's Advanced Warfare Sentence DLC comes out on PlayStation and uh. PC April 30th. Star Ocean 5, a uh, still JRPG from Square Enix comes out. Japan, yeah, PlayStation leak? 4 and yeah, 3. Yeah, that leaked out. The yeah, last I, thing I heard from Star Ocean was like, uh, was it Star Ocean 2 with the, like, the end of time or whatever? Yep. Something like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Texas in July is breaking up. Oh, no. Final tours. I'm sad. They're local, right? Yeah. yeah. We're from Africa. Yeah, so, I mean... I yeah. could give Who's going to headline launch from now on? I know. <laughs> no, who's going to headline launch fest? Oh, man. They got one year later, though. That's okay. It's bam. It's been Who, who's going to ride on the coattails of August Burns right now? I don't know. Who's going to have that King? sick, stuck-up, fucking hardcore metalcore show? I who's going to think they're better than you now? Yeah, I know. Exactly. So then another <laughs> uh, uh, metalcore band that went nowhere, Edestria, is breaking up. Did you listen to them? No. Yeah, they're breaking up. Who gives a fuck? But I just want you guys to know. <laughs> um, Deftones, Incubus, Death from Above 1979, and the bots are touring. Nice. Deftones, I'd love to see that. Um, Danzig, Cancer, Bats, and Pennywise are touring. Mm -hmm. High on Fire has a new album. Luminiferous, June 23rd. That should be sick. I just wanted to read this. I wrote down Attila Gets Fucked. <laughs> Apparently, Franz, Chris Franzak of Attila got fucked up at a show or something. Hold on, let me pull it up. I just thought it was funny. Drunk fucked up? Or like, fought fucked up? Like, a, a, a Tilla singer gets assaulted in yeah. Peru. <laughs> That's why you don't go to South America. Oh no, in, in Perth, Australia, sorry. Yeah. Um, you don't fuck with Australia. Australia. There, there's nothing in Australia about stuff that wants to kill you. Well, yeah. I, 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 guess he, I guess he didn't, he didn't step up at the Peruvian ground. It says, yeah, I guess he's the faggot. Attila frontman Chris Bronzak says he assaulted <laughs> during the band's performance in Perth. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like, like yes, we, done! We, we yes, I'm done with that. That. That's what I'm trying to read. Um, and he ended up hitting a fan with the microphone. An actual spinning fan, I'm just kidding. Um, and he wrote, quote, some asshole stalled me on the stage in Perth tonight, Richard. and I let my anger get the best of me. Shit popped off. But anyways, when I want to retaliate, I hit the wrong dude on accident. If you're the dude with, with a bleeding head, I want to apologize. I don't mean to hit you with my mic. I meant to hit the C, the cunt bag that was assaulting me. Anyways, wow. you can give all, we can give you all the free merch you want. So if you're the dude with the bleeding head and you're reading this, go to our merch table and take anything you want. I apologize. To the fuck boy, spelled fuck and then boy, B-O-I, that tried to fuck with me on stage, suck my fuck. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, oh, feel, I feel like that fan that got hit could sue them and take everything. Yep. Yes. Yeah, he could. So, 
I'll it, take all I want. It, it really, it really. If, if they actually wanted anything from the band, like I'm not gonna you could the band just, out. Just sue them. Like yeah. then you can get all their shirts. Yeah. You don't have to just oh I'll take whatever. No, I'll take everything. If if a fan had that in their heart, you know. But I don't know. The yeah. fans are probably not that Brilliant. savvy. I'm still laughing at my joke. <laughs> it's not that funny, but I'm gonna think yeah. I'm fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, so sorry. he just got hit like once. So he bashes someone. How do you? How yeah, do you not really see? Said. How do you get the wrong person? First of all, Keith and I have been in multiple fights, not just against each other, but against other people. You yeah, kind of know who person. hits you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why don't? You, why do you react like that? Why can't you just call that douchebag out on stage and just be like, yeah. just security, stop, stop the get show the and say this guy hit me. You know, take his ass because outside. Because he's, exactly. he's got to be a fucking. He's got to be a hard ass. Look, look at uh. I mean. I mean, none of us really here are huge Foo Fighters fans, but Dave Brawl stopped the show because some dude was trying to start a fight in the pit. And he's like, no, you get the fuck out of here. He didn't retaliate or anything. He said, no, security, get this guy the fuck out of here. And they did. Because that's, that's what happens when you retaliate. You bust someone's head open and they can see you. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Especially the wrong. Make sure you just hit the right person in the head. Jesus. Just, even then, the guy dead. could see you. Even then, you could say it was unwarranted. You know, oh, it's a show. It's an accident. I accidentally bumped this guy. There's... Probably no videos yeah. of it. The guy sues him for, you know, you don't, you, you, you know, well, you just don't hit people in the head with a microphone. You Franz, get sued. What's his name? Can actually get at least if it was something here, could actually be charged with aggravated assault. <clears throat> I wonder how he hit him though. Did he just go like boom? I don't know. Fucking threw, whipped it at him yeah. right on the court. And just but how's, how do you want a dude in the crowd? Fuck with you. How do you want a dude in the crowd of probably I don't know how big a till is in Australia or how big this festival <laughs> They're is. They're pretty big. Like, a pretty popular band. Though. But I mean, like, in Australia, you know, I don't know how oh, big I mean, this festival was, how many people... How do you let one one douchebag in the crowd literally yeah, like, piss you off that much? like, security yeah. that's supposed to be protecting the band, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, because no, any show, there's especially festival shows, there's usually security all along the front of the stage. Yeah. At any well, show. That At sucks show. in the first place, because a lot of shows, it's, you know, better so, without security because they power trip and stuff. That's true. But then again, how, like, how do you let one dude... What the, what the hell did the dude do to piss him off in the first place? Yeah. Really fucking him. Goose Project's just a hard ass man. Yeah. For attention. Type what? person, I feel. Personally. They'll be taking out hits on people next. So, anyways, let's wrap this up. Move on to releases. Bloxic on Vita. All, all these video games you can play right now. Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, on PC. One other thing on there. At the bottom, uh, Billboard. Oh, yeah, and sure. Ozzy's not that. Fuck. I did forget about that. Um. <clears throat> Bill Backtrack. Ward. Yes, Bill Steward. Ward. Uh, he wants Ozzy and everybody to apologize to him for, I guess, recording 13 with him and touring and all that stuff. I'm going to pull his article up real quick. Bill Ward, is he the original He's drummer. the original drummer. Yes. But he, I thought so Bill he Ward didn't want right. anything to do with the new. Here we go. Oh. Sabbath. Black Sabbath frontman Ozzy Osbourne has responded to the recent open letter from estranged Black Sabbath drummer Bill Ward, in which Ward stated he would not rejoin the band until Osbourne uh, apologized for his various remarks regarding Ward during the past few years. And then Ozzy Osbourne wrote, Wow, Bill, what the fuck are you on about? I cannot apologize for comments or opinions I may have made about you during... Uh, about you in the press during Black Sabbath's uh, 13 album and tour. Physically, you knew you were fucked. Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, and myself didn't think you could do a two-hour set with a drum solo every night, so we made the decision to move on. With Tony's condition, we felt time was not on our side. Bill stopped his smoke screen about an unsignable contract, and let's be honest, deep down inside, you knew you weren't capable of doing an album a 16-month tour. Um, and then he said some other stuff, basically. I don't know if any of them could do a fucking 16-month tour, honestly. Yeah. But, I mean, like, they even, the reason he didn't tour with them in the first place was because he didn't... I thought Bill Ward said he couldn't physically handle <clears throat> touring. I yeah. mean, Ozzy could have been a little bit more gentle about it. Like, he basically just called Bill fucking fat, and that's why he didn't want to tour with them. <laughs> like, that's basically, basically what he said. Basically. Like, he could have been a little bit more gentler about it. But, but at the same time, Bill Ward really has no ground to stand on. Yeah. First of all, I mean, I just, I don't know. They should just fucking make up. And then they just tour, shit. and then make an album, tour, or, or hell, just tour, I don't even fucking care. And then, then you can go back to hating each other. 
Yeah. Fuck it. When you don't have to see each other anymore, then fucking hate each other. Yeah. Just suck it up for 12 months, however long, because, I mean, they're, they're so last tour, they gotta go everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just fucking suck it up. And just, it up. just do it. It's like, oh my god. Does anyone care about Ozzy Osbourne anymore? I mean, I maybe care about his, not his music, not Black Sabbath. Does anyone care about Ozzy Osbourne himself? Yeah. This person, no. 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 <laughs> I don't know. kind of funny. <laughs> like, I care about his music, but... No. As a person, nah. I'm surprised he's still alive. <laughs> I'm surprised anyone drugs. in that band is still alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To me, <laughs> he might have been died years ago. It's just the drugs that were in his system keep him going. Yeah, to me, I don't think Bill Ward will ever come back because I, I feel sad that it's going to have to call a day here soon with Tony Iommi because he keeps getting worse and worse. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It sucks, but I mean, like, I mean, they're old fucking dudes. Well, and, and like you said, you know, with Tony, with Tony's condition, they weren't sure anyway how long they could keep this up. Yeah, and I they mean, gave, they told Bill Ward, hey, you know, this we're doing this, we want, you know, we want you, originally, and then he refused. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'd, I'd like another tour, but I mean, I can understand. I mean, it's with with Tony I mean, what is it? It's lung cancer, or mm -hmm. I think. Some type of cancer. And like, or no, there's lymph node cancer. Yeah. There's lymph node cancer. And like, um, I mean, I get it. His situation is just dire. It's just that like, I mean, I'm happy I got to see him. And I mean, I support whatever decisions they make on wherever they go from here. It's just that, uh, I don't know. I just, I also just don't think they should just fucking end it on a sour note. No. You know, no. again, okay. like, take the band out and, you know, have it be like, I don't know, kind of like... Maybe not like what happened, but I mean how like, you know, Pantera broke up and, you know, Vinnie Paul and Phil and Simon mm -hmm. don't won't fucking talk to each other even for just like a thing. Like you know, even if they have like a concert like after Tony Iommi dies and like they get people to fill in like mm -hmm. you know what I mean like I want something like that to be able to happen because I mean if any band deserves it, this band deserves. Yeah. If somebody from this band dies, they deserve. Or like, even everything. even just do one. I mean, they're not sport. Just do like. One or two shows, depend. I mean, depending on do the, whether or not they do Europe or just the United States, whatever. I mean, most likely it'd be Europe. I mean, I'm assuming if if they yeah. had like a final show, it'd be in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Had, like for that final show, get everybody. You know, invite at least invite Bill Ward to play this final show. Because he should at least be capable of doing one fucking you know couple hour show. And also with that kind of ultimatum, like here. Here's your last chance. Yeah. Like we, I, we tried. I feel like he couldn't. I I feel like I mean I wouldn't need no matter what. Like if somebody says this is your last chance, because the last show we're ever playing, get on this. You know, yeah. yeah. So because they gave him a chance already with the album. Yeah. And then he didn't think it was physically capable of doing it. One of the releases. Yeah. Anyways, so I just wanted to bring that up. Saying an interesting talking point. Um. That's about it for the news. So let's yeah, do the releases. releases. Yeah. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five is out on PC, uh, which apparently looks fucking gorgeous. And it has yeah. like a uh, has like a director mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In it. So yeah. uh, Mortal Kombat X for uh, PS4, Xbox One, PC. So or apparently that's a good it's, game. It's brutal. Yeah. It's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. PC versus fucked, but I think they did kind of fix it. Um, Titan Souls for the PS4 and the Vita. Um, Telepath Tactics for PC. Titan Souls. Yes. So like Titanfall and Dark Souls? Yeah, I feel like they're just it's, reusing it's, names It's almost like game. Dark Souls in ways, but with Shadow of the Colossus. So it's like, it's a big boss. It's, so, yeah. so it's like, it's like two game concepts and they're using game names over again. Like yeah. Titan Souls. Pretty much. <laughs> It's basically Shadow Call of, of Battlefield. Why don't they just do Call of Battlefield? Man? <laughs> I don't know. It's a name. It's Call of Battle. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and Goat Simulator's out on Xbox One. Frank Spock. Which I, we know somebody that bought an Xbox One specifically for, for Goat, Goat Simulator. Simulator. Which is fucking hilarious. Um, anyway, some music. I don't know many of these bands, so they're out this week. Gallows with Desolate Sounds. They're a hardcore band. Do you know them? I've heard the, I've heard the name, but I never listened yeah. to it. Yeah. Lancer with Second Storm, which I might have to check this out because it looks badass. Um, apparently sounds like Hammerfall. Hmm. Murdoch with Dead Lung. Murdoch. Progressive Murdoch. hardcore music. Um, I don't know. Styrica with Fertile. I don't know some of these bands. Sulfur Ion with Gateway to the Antisphere, which that's badass artwork. Um, 
And some other stuff. I believe I did see one that was kind of fucking stupid. I gotta find it. Uh, Hailstorm came out this past week. Yeah, that's true. Don't listen to it, it's bad. That's true. It's really bad. I, I sent you guys that. Uh, Hailstorm or Hailstorm? Hailstorm. Like the band with the chick from around here. They, they, they're all from around here, I thought. Yeah, they're, they're all from I mean, Yeah, line. but I mean, they're all from no, just, the, just the girls. Just, yeah. but, but, that, that, but, um, nobody else, nobody cares about anybody else in that band. Uh, I sent you guys that, that tour poster for uh, <laughs> Queen Cambria. With a... You blew it. <laughs> you blew it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of. I'm mean, just. I love Coheed, but the fact that they're touring with a band called You Blew It. You blew it. You blew it. <laughs> it's inside, well, they blew it. I mean, inside jokes. Yeah. Um. They're blown. This band I've never heard of them. Wolfpack put out a new album, Rise of the Animal, and they are labeled as Wolfcore. <laughs> I really want to check them. Oh my god. I'm interested now. I really Oh my god. Cool. I, I'm just having Ooh. flashbacks to, to like <laughs> high school with all of like the, the, the anime fangirls that oh, had yeah. like the wolf tails. It's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. That's I'm fucking, fucking sick, that wolf core. Yeah. That sounds fucking sick. Well, I'm not gonna look lie. Well, I mean, what, what, was, what was the other? Cum core? Cum core. <laughs> wolf pack. That just sounds like a sick. I forgot dude. about that. <laughs> I mean, it might be just be like some stupid bro. Maybe it's, it's based like... off of The Hangover. Man, that, that I'm not going to like. There's one member. There's one member. What's his name? Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, he's on vocals. I, the Hangover is so stupid. <laughs> if I would ever end my life over a movie, it would be The Hangover. <laughs> one of any of The Hangover movies. The first one was okay. The first one was good. The, the second two were meh. But, See, I liked the first one I, a lot. Because it was funny. Yeah. The second one was okay. It was cool. It was funny. And the third, the one, third was one was awful. Yeah, it wasn't even funny. Awful. <laughs> and it, it had Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cho from uh, Community on it though, or Senor uh, Cho, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like it Mike was... Tyson. I mean, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. What, do, what, do, what do tires dream of when they take a little tire? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> See you guys later. Shit. Yeah.